It's the middle of the lunch rush at Meza Grill in Midtown Manhattan. Yes. Cold hard cash is being exchanged. There you go, 80 cents is your change. But so is a virtual kind of currency called Bitcoin. The payment takes place entirely over the internet via anonymous encrypted code. This one being made with a mobile device. 7035 bitcoins. There are more than six and a half million bitcoins in circulation right now. Users can purchase everything from clothing to professional services to tech gadgets. Meza Grill is one of the few brick and mortar businesses accepting bitcoins. Owner Marwan Salem says he began taking them in April and gets a handful of customers paying with them each day. We've had a lot of customers who have come through um, just for that reason, because they've said, uh, you know, they've heard through the grapevine or through the internet that we take bitcoins. Salem started accepting bitcoins after learning about them from customer Bruce Wagner, an IT expert. I use it as much as I can. Uh, a lot of people are just getting into it to invest, but I use it, uh, obviously, have lunch with it here. We try and support all the merchants who accept bitcoin. Bitcoin is peer-to-peer. -peer. Money passes directly from user to user without any bank or government involvement. Wired Magazine's Jason Tan says that absence of regulation is one of the reasons why Bitcoin is so attractive to some. Some of the, the libertarian arguments that are coming out these days are about, you know, worried about the fact that the Fed has so much control over monetary policy. And at any moment, the Fed can decide to print a ton of money, and all of a sudden, then you've got inflation. Other people, just it's, it's less of an economic argument. It's more of an ideological argument that, you know, the federal government should not have that kind of control over my assets. And for others, it's an investment opportunity, or simply something cool they want to try out. Here's how it works. Users download Bitcoin software, which acts as a wallet. They then fill the virtual wallet with virtual Bitcoins, acquiring them through a process called mining, a series of complex mathematical calculations. Or they get them from a Bitcoin currency exchange, which is the more popular method. The way Bitcoins get their value is similar to the way stocks get their value. Bitcoin buyers drive the value up, sellers drive it down. Recent history is rife with examples of people who've tried to build alternative currencies. Frankly, they never end well. Bitcoin is different in that it really is a separate parallel currency that was created out of nothing. I mean, you know, they, it, it, it arose to something like $180 million worth of value that they created out of, out of thin air. Critics have said because transactions are, for the most part, anonymous, Bitcoin makes it easy to sell illegal drugs or launder money over the Internet. And some people say it amounts to a Ponzi scheme. So but others say Bitcoins. Bitcoin is legit yeah, and could seven, pave the way for future five. digital currencies. One click at a time. Felicia Taylor, CNN, so New York. Seven. What do you got today?